I didn't want to have to do a show like this. But I've been forced to, basically. And despite the roller coaster ride of injuries and losing the Steelers have embarked on so far this year, they've mostly stayed out of drama. Okay, unlike the past few years, the Steelers have mostly stayed out of drama. Well, obviously, that's changed as the Steelers are now dealing with the Anthony Ciccolo domestic violence accusations and that situation. And I'm here to tell you why they're actually handling it the right way. Even though I'm sure they're going to be criticized for it. Even though I'm sure many of you are criticizing them for it. This is another episode of Mike Drop here on Pittsburgh Sports Live. I'm your host, Mike Osti, and this broadcast here is made possible thanks to Beaver County Auto and, of course, on SteelersNow.com. Now, Anthony Ciccolo has been accused of domestic violence. Okay, he's been accused of an incident with his girlfriend. Police are investigating, the NFL is investigating, and Kevin Colbert and the Steelers are kind of waiting for that to play out. Which is the right call, but... You see so much of people clamoring for an immediate punishment, a swift hammer down, a stern punishment from the Steelers right away, a statement made, kind of upset the Steelers handling this. Is that really fair? I say no. I say this team actually is handling this, this the right way. Okay? And, and here's the statement from Kevin Colbert. There's, there's key words in this. In regard to the recent incident involving Anthony Chicklo, we will continue to gather information. We will continue to gather information. That's the key. And we will fully cooperate with the NFL's investigation. Any discipline involving the player will be determined after, after the gathering of further information from law enforcement and the league office. That's from Kevin Colbert. Okay. And I know that we live in this, we live in this guilty until proven innocent mentality society now, unfortunately. Doesn't matter who you are, if you're accused, you're guilty, that seems to be enough. This goes to how people treated Patrick Kane years ago. Horrible accusations against him. He was accused of rape. Horrible. But people wanted him out of the league on the immediate accusation before anything else even came out. And we later got a punishment that was swift and made sense for Ray Rice after we saw that video. And I'm not saying we got to see a video, but that was obviously handled poorly. And again, to make this clear, domestic violence of any kind, rape of any kind, any assault of any kind, any of that, horrible, obviously. And no matter how much I might be in a fight with my girlfriend, no matter how much she may make me mad, by no means is there ever an excuse, ever a time for me to put my hands on her. Unacceptable all the way around. But the Pittsburgh Steelers are left with one choice and one choice only in how to handle this Anthony Ciccolo situation. There's nothing else that's known, okay? This is an accusation, that's all we got. There's nothing else. <clears throat> so while you may want a swifter punishment, and he's not gonna be making an impact for this team right now, okay? He won't be making that impact on the field, won't have to worry about that. But there's nothing more they can do. That was what they you knew they were going to say and what they had to really say. That's a defendable statement by Kevin Colbert. That's not like what the Astros are coming out with, okay, with their statement about the female reporter. That's not like that. This is a, a, a mature team saying, we're going to let things play out. We're going to gather information. We want to know. We want to know more. We want to learn. What you don't know right now, I don't know right now, or at least not as I'm recording this, and maybe more will come when you're watching it, but bear with me for what we know as I'm speaking. But with Anthony Chicolo is accused of, it's horrible. There's no excuse for it. And where there's smoke, there often is fire. But the Steelers are waiting and are going to wait and see, and I, I, that's the right approach. There's no criticism that should happen right now. But I will also say, this drama is not going to affect this team. If they don't make the playoffs, it's not going to be because of this. It's going to be because of all the quarterbacks they've had to deal with, all the injuries they've had to deal with, and the fact they haven't been good enough to this point. They haven't played well enough. They haven't capitalized on turnovers when they're there, even though they're now creating them. And they've had weaknesses all throughout this team. 
whether it be the running game or wherever it taken weeks to finally gel together finally they're coming off a win they can't even be too happy about it the improbable victory by Devlin Hodges based on this drama and it sucks they're going into a very winnable game after their bye they now are healthy again relatively speaking with Mason Rudolph back and he's the legitimate starter he should be starting but it's not going to be because of this drama if things falter, okay? They have an easier schedule coming up, but again, they're behind the eight ball significantly. The division does not look like it's going to happen, and I touched on this on past shows you can find throughout the channel. The Ravens' recent win over Seattle, a big deal. How Lamar Jackson is playing this year, a big deal. MVP-type stuff, he's an MVP candidate so far. That's a big deal. The Steelers aren't doing anything near that. And yes, it was close against the Ravens, and they needed overtime, and yes, it was a backup quarterback. I get it. If you want to have that glass half full take of all the tough teams they played and all the adversity, they're still their record. They still should have won these games in terms of six turnovers or five turnovers forced against the Niners and only scoring those six points. Unacceptable. They would have won that game if they would have flipped even one of those into a touchdown. So they put themselves in this situation, this is where they deserve, and they could easily come out of it. The wild card is still in play based on the weakness of the conference. That is still a possibility with their schedule being as weak as it is coming up, or, or weaker at least. Divisional games also are still in play. They're going to play the Jets somehow, who we saw recently how bad they are, even though they somehow got a win over Dallas. But this drama won't affect this team. The depth, the lack of depth, the lack of linebacker depth may as the Steelers also could maybe get a second chance at, at, at Tuzar Skipper, who they let walk months ago and end up on the Giants. They now have waived him. That could be something to do for the Steelers. But this drama won't affect this team, and they are handling it the right way. They're waiting. They're going to wait and see. Okay? And taking it, I'm not saying not to believe women or not take things seriously. Waiting and seeing and allowing the investigation to play out and having it be a serious investigation, that is taking things serious. But it's not fair to just administer a punishment, be done with it, and immediately believe everything you hear. Well, we've had experience, we've had examples in the past of problems. Ezekiel Elliott appears he got railroaded based on some things that went on. So Kevin Colbert and the Steelers are actually handling this Anthony Ciccolo situation the right way, whether you like it or not. But this drama is not going to affect this team moving forward. Not this drama. It's not Juju. It's not James Conner. It's not even your starting quarterback, Mason Rudolph, giving you these problems, okay? If it is, that might be one thing that might then be different. Want to make sure, though, you hit up the family of networks. This was a short one. I'm going to have longer shows and, and future shows, obviously, as we move towards the season, whether it be about the Steelers, WVU, or whatever is going on here. Throughout our family of networks, watch again. Start at the top, Pittsburgh Sports Now. Hit up PittsburghSportsNow.com. Pittsburgh Soccer Now, and no no chronological here order here. Pittsburgh Soccer Now, Pittsburgh Hockey Now. Going into the Penguin season, they're full-fledged into the season now with interviews we're going to have from players as well after before after games locker room interviews and the clips from Mike Tomlin all on the channel like we've been doing with Tomlin and the Steelers throughout the Steelers season of course SteelersNow.com and our newest venture covering the Mountaineers WVSportsNow.com as I've done WVU related shows and find those on the channel too as I keep telling you guys to temper your expectations around Neil Brown and the Mountaineers. But you can also find this show and every video we put up in, in all eternity or, or until I decide to take it off, basically, at pghsportslive.com. You can also find it on Facebook. Search Pittsburgh Sports Live on Facebook. Find us on Twitter at PGH Sports Live on Twitter at PGH Steelers Now on Twitter and myself at MikeOsti11 on Twitter. I welcome the debate. I don't welcome the death threats as much, even though I sometimes do get those. But the Steelers have a pivotal game coming up in terms of they have, yeah, they've faced tough teams, but who have they really beat either? They beat up on a horrible Bengals team, and they beat a Chargers team that looks pretty average based on what we've seen otherwise. So we'll see against Miami. It's a winnable game. It certainly should be a winnable game. It's a guaranteed win, you'd figure, but nothing obviously is guaranteed in the NFL. And the Pittsburgh Steelers have an easier schedule than they've had coming up, but again, all this remains to be seen. But as we stand now, Okay, the Steelers have this drama. They have finally have drama to deal with, unfortunately. And it's never good. You don't want to hear this. It is a horrible accusation of what Anthony Chicolo is accused of. No excuses there for him. But my, Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin and the Steelers, with this wait-and-see approach, in terms of trying to learn more, wanting to learn more, actually the right way to go, whether 